Hello everyone, it's Rita here, and this is my second video today, so that's why I have the same clothes on. Oh, and I still forgot my lotion. Oh. Earlier, I did a video, and I just forget. Okay, I'm almost out of these. I have to make some, well... I don't think it's going to help much right now. It is just so, so dry here. Of course, my hands are always very dry and inky. So I hope everybody's doing well while I uh, finished putting lotion on. These I made myself. If you didn't see my video when I shared it, just put it in a plastic bag and, you're, and dry out a couple of your... Um, baby wipes and add lotion inside and you're good to go. Okay. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to do that. All right. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a tag and I, I want to make this, uh, for my spring journal, which is wait till spring. And, um, I am going to do a, um, a challenge uh, that um, Tammy at Lulu Fru Studios is doing and it's called um, Color Combo and this week, I believe it was this week, uh, is yellow and hexagons. So what she's doing is every week she is putting up a color and then a shape to go with that color. So it could be a circle, an oval, a square, whatever, and any color like red, purple, green, blue, whatever. But anyway, in the hashtag, it says um, hashtag color combo. I don't know. It, may, it might be two, 2024 as well. Um, but, you know, I kind of just, I have ideas. I mean, this is one that I want to do. And this one I saw on uh, Be Reborn Arts and something. And I'll put a link. But you know, it's just nice to have these extra little things to to give you something to work with. So now I've got, obviously, yellow and hexes. So I pulled out everything I could think of that would have that. And the first thing I knew I had was this die cut, which is hexagons. Uh, they're the bee um, uh, combs, or uh, what do you call them? Uh, honeycombs and then it has the bees so I went and I cut a few of those out in black and yellow kind of a golden yellow I didn't want a bright bright yellow um, this one is just this is a just got little spots of yellow on it and so I don't know which one I'm going to use um, so you need um, in this case, you would need hexagons, you need yellow, you need what you're going to make um, as far as your um, theme, whether it's going to be flowers or whatever. So put that away. So the first thing I want to do, I have this paper here, and I'm going to use this for the little, this is like a gatefold, and inside of here, excuse this mess. I was doing this while she was trying to show us. Um, so this is a gatefold here, and then you have journaling here, here, and here, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do with the back of this because I want this front to be the gate. So I'm gonna stencil this side. Oh, I forgot I have that gold. I should get that out. I got so many things I'd love to get out. I just, I just don't. All right, let me just set that on top of there. Um, I'm gonna do sporadic, I think. Well, yeah, I'll just put it off to the edge. This isn't like Tim Holtz. So I went through my colors and I thought that antique linen was gonna be good because I thought it would just barely show up, but it's pretty strong. This is an, no, this is antique linen, which is almost like green. And then I had tea dye and that's almost pink. So 
I went with scattered straw, but I'm going to do it, let me get this out of the way, I'm going to do it really light if I can. So I'll take some off of here. I don't know, maybe it doesn't need to be that light. Let's see if I'm even getting any, I can barely see that. Okay, let's go a little darker then. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd do this. I, I just didn't have an idea for today, really. I mean, for, I just wanted to do work on the spring. And earlier I worked on the um, Trash to Treasure journal, which is a giveaway. So sooner or later you guys will be seeing that up as a giveaway when I do a flip through on it. And then I don't know, maybe we'll just, no, oh, that didn't stencil very good. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what's going to show on this. That's, so I'm just going to continue going down here. So, um, then I guess we'll do another one because why not, you know? Okay, so we don't need that anymore, or that. Oh, okay. too many, uh, let's see, where's my regular color? Oh, right here. All right, so, with that, I don't think I'll eat around this yet. I don't know what I'm going to do for it yet. Okay, so I do know I have to cut off some of those edges, but all right, so now we're going to need two um, two pieces the same size. So this one is, um, I'm going to do it uh, eight by four and a half. Okay, so let me get the cutter. I wasn't going to go eight, but I'm I wanted a little shorter, but I'm gonna do eight by four and a half first. And then if it's too long or I feel it's too tall for the journal, I will come back and do, uh, this is a large tag and I love large tags. So I'm using cardstock for, it's scrapbook paper, but it's cardstock. Okay. I've had this for a long time and I I coffee dyed it. <laughs> it came out cool. Alright, now I gotta find eight. Okay, so we're just taking a half inch off. We knew that. Eight and a half by eleven paper. Okay. Set that over there for the moment. Okay. Now we need to, I guess we'll do our, these things here, because we're going to glue these together, but uh, not all the way around. So let's see, do I want this big of a, oh yeah, that's fine. My demo here is like just thrown together, cut any old way. I just try to follow along sometimes and I usually have to go back and watch it again. I told you who did this, yes. Be Reborn, um, Kara Renee. She does some really beautiful stuff. Okay, so. There's that. Now we're going to cut, actually this is just really simple now that I look at it. Alright, so this um, I want to be the outside gate. So let me cut it down so we get 
Now this one is going to be a half inch bigger. Let me go in a little more. A half inch wider than the other one we did. So four and a half. So this is going to be five. by eight or whatever I can get out of this because it doesn't have to be the same as the tag it can be a little shorter but just to be safe do them the same and then you can cut down where you need to okay now this is going to be five inches for the gate So this is um, actually, I think, week, I want to say three, maybe four. It must be week three because she started in January. Um, I didn't do the first two because I didn't know I was going to do this. So I may not do it every time, but I may do it. It's It's been kind of cool. Um, all right, so we're going to do a half inch. Is that right? Um, no, I think I need a quarter of an inch. Mm. Okay, hold on. Let me think. I want to make sure I do this correctly. This is going to wrap around. Okay. Yeah, a quarter inch on each side. Actually, probably should have even made it wider. Okay, so score that, and then I'm going to in this. I guess I should have scored on the other side. Come on, don't be, don't be difficult. So I've been um, like slow stitching in the evenings and cross stitching one or the other. And yes, was it yesterday? Yeah, I think it was yesterday I didn't even come in here because, well, for one, I had a flat tire. Of course, you guys, this is a day later also. <laughs> talking about what happened yesterday. That's um, that's the one thing about filming ahead is you're not talking about the same. I hope this fits. Let's see here. It only needs to fit on one side. I mean, I think the same thing happened to Kara Renee, hers didn't quite fit either. Hmm. All right, well, that goes to show you how just a little bit takes up room. So it doesn't matter what size it is. We'll just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shave off a little bit off this side. And then shave a little off of this side. Now, this little rip isn't going to matter because it's going to be glued down. So now you have to decide um, like where you want this to go down to. Let me get a journal page. I want to see how tall this is. I can't really tell that way. See, it's pretty tall. So I think I want to take, first of all, 
I'm going to take an inch off of the bottom of this. Okay. It's better to have it a little too big than too small because you can always um, cut it down. You can't make it bigger. Okay. Now this one... I'm thinking maybe about, we'll cut it down to about right here. That way it'll look like doors. Okay. This looks we're only going to be going around one one layer of this anyway so I think that looks fine really about a half inch from there and about a half inch from the bottom okay so now we have to find the center of this and as some, I think I'm going to take this one away right now so that we do get a good measurement. So I'm going to move this up so I know that it's straight on the bottom. It looks straight up here too. I guess it is. Okay. But we have to open this, so we have to do that first. Now, she used a the zero whatever ruler. I'm going to try it. So basically, um, you're looking on both sides, and right now I'm at two and a quarter and two and a quarter, just a hair difference. Okay, so I don't know how you... Um, Three sixteenths, maybe one, two, three sixteenths. Is that what it is? All right. So we're going to mark it right here. We know that's the center, and then I'm going to come down here and try to get it kind of lined up again. I'll make that's way too big. I don't know how come I have a, such a big one, but I think she has a Tim Holtz and it's a lot smaller. Okay, now we're going to cut this down the middle. Um, it's going to be fun because. And I have to line them up when I put them back on the both of them have to be lined the same okay all right so now these flowers are going this direction and these are going this direction Alright, so now, um, I'm going to use this mark. It's almost like I didn't cut it on the mark, because otherwise there wouldn't be a big mark. Okay. Now, if you had a cool picture, like if you had something where the two went together, back together again, would be nice. Um, in this case, it's just flowers, so you really can't see that. All right, hold still. Honestly, I'm not sure how this is going to work. 
I mean, to keep it straight is what I mean. Keep them together. Keep them level. I guess that's okay. This one looks a little bit lower. Okay, I kind of wanted to glue these down right now, but we also need to do a um, hinge. But I guess we could do that after. So I'm going to get this glued down. Um, I hope that my glue will come out. Because I... Um, that's coming out too much. I changed the tip of it because it just kept getting plugged up and I'm like but I could see now that it comes out in a lot faster I guess I should just get my art letter out doesn't have to be like probably perfect glue down because we're going to glue it shut sort of okay so we're good there my needle I couldn't get it down inside there so save it okay so um, there we go and there's our little gate. Now we need a closure and I thought um, well I wished I had like a bumblebee in this like in this and then I could um, just lift it out oh, that might be too might not work. Let me see um so I thought if I put a bumblebee here and I glued the bumblebee on this side, then this side could be tucked in. Um, the, I'll cut this away. Is that the darkest bumblebee I... Yeah, the same. Okay. I don't know about decorating. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to cut this the way. So if I glue this B down, hard to tell. I think you could do it. I wouldn't glue this down to the page. I would leave it free. Or the other thing you could use would be like um, a tag. You could put an eyelet here and fold it you know, down when you want to open it, which would be cute too. And or you can put two circles and tie it close. But I just get tired of doing those circles. So I don't think I have any other, um, I mean, I was just testing that with the navy blue. Do I have anything else? I have these with the words, um, that looks kind of boring, but then I could add the bees around. Let's put the honeycomb, honeycomb on. do black. I don't know, that's kind of stark. I want to keep it as spring as possible. Mm. That's another one that's kind of nice, but again it's 
Maybe. Um, this was one of my favorites, but it doesn't go with this one. I just feel like if I put that, it's, I don't have any, it doesn't decorate it, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, purple, green. Because on her, she had a bow tying it shut. Hmm. I wish you guys could yell at me. Should I not get those glued down straight? It's a little off. Maybe I should put a little ink on here. It kind of gives me a different um, vision. All right, well, let's get the rest of this, um, the base together, just in case you wanna. Now on this one, I can use this polka dot on the back for journal writing, or I can leave this. I think I'll do this polka dot back to back. So we are going to glue here all the way around to here. Okay? This is going to stay open. Okay. So I'm going to get my art glitter because I don't want it spreading all over. Okay, let me remind myself that I'm gluing all of this and not that. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go all the way up here. I feel like I've made this before. I don't remember, but something similar. Now, see, I didn't want to glue it that way. I don't know why I do that. I actually wanted to make the pocket on the, the other side. probably saw me do that. Nothing new. Okay, so now you have a pocket over here for a journal card. I think I'm going to sew around this inside. I think that would look nice. So let me um, put, on, put you on pause. I'm going to sew around this. I think I should just put a little ink first. I didn't put any more ink on here because I don't want it inked like really dark. Just to give it some highlights. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause. Be right back. I never can remember now what... Okay, there it is. Okay, I'm back. So I've been uh, kind of playing around and um, I 
unglued it. It came apart really easy, so I don't know why, but, um, and I, because I couldn't sew the pocket shut, so I just, um, took it apart, sewed this, um, one side up, and then glued them together after that. So then I got my pocket on the right side here where I want it. Okay, so then I thought, well, this would be kind of cute having a pocket inside here. So I thought maybe I would do that. And then on these closures, these um, doors, I think I'm gonna put a piece of lace here on this side and I'm going to run some of this vine down this side. Anyway, it won't be in the way of this once I get it on there. But So let me get that part done and then depending on how much time we have left, um, let's see, I'm going to get I have my silvo glue here. Um, I think I'm going to use this permanent glue stick because it works good. Okay. So I'm going to glue this down, then I'll come back and cut the trim. I didn't use cardstock on this section. I used regular um, copy type paper. Actually, it was my parchment paper because it was from a while back when I did this cop did this digital. And I don't know who this digital belongs to. If I find out, I'll let you know. But I almost think it's by um, um, the Journal Boat. I don't know why, I just feel like that might be whose it is. It's really not fair to say who you think it might be, but. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there, and these are going to be tedious. I have just a little left, but I have a whole bunch more that Kathy sent me. But I just kind of wanted to use this up. I think these are probably a little bit smaller as well. Oh my gosh, it's just crazy to deal with it. <laughs> it just gets all stuck everywhere. All right, I guess I'll have to art glitter this down and hopefully it'll stay. A lot of times I just have to go back and re-glue. Just make sure I get it on the back and not the front. This is because it's the end of the roll, and it's just um, so curly because it's been rolled up. I'm pretty sure that's why I'm having a difficult time. And I don't think it's even going to stack. Well, if I can get it to stick a little bit, I can come back. stronger. I can't use fabric tack on st stuff this small. Oh my goodness, come on. may have to let 
do a little bit, let it dry, and then do a little more. It's starting to stick. It takes so much time for all of this stuff. Okay. Um, let's get a credit card here. And put some glue stick on the edge of it. This is kind of a, a little tip here for you. If you want to get glue underneath something and you can't get it, then just put the glue on like a credit card and slide it off where you need it. Let's see. Okay, so that looks not too bad for now. And then I can just always go back and Put it um, more glue. Okay, okay. Now here we're gonna glue this. Now I doubled this up so it was strong because I think I'm gonna put the bee barely there so it will hold it. I like the bee sitting on that little branch, maybe even like that. I didn't ink it because I inked one of them already and it looked horrible. I don't know if I need to, yeah, let me just put a little few dots. Let's go this direction. Um, I guess any place is fine as long as it's holding this down. I might brush over this with a little bit of ink. Um, Again, you can use a credit card and go under that. I hope that'll keep it closed. Oh, maybe it's not going to. it will once it's lay down in there. I don't know. I may have to take that off entirely and put on something stronger. I was thinking that if I punched a hole in it, it would make it very weak um, because it is just paper, not cardstock. But I'm going to see how it goes. And if it doesn't stay closed, I don't know. There's not down here. Okay, so I don't know what to put on this side. I may um, try to find a word or something. I thought I would like to do the honeycomb, but I think it's too much. And I thought maybe I could just sit it in here because we'll have plenty of journaling space. But if I put that pocket on there, but then I'll be putting a tag in there. So I'm going to move this up high enough that it's not showing at the bottom. I could put lace at the bottom and that would be cute. Get my book. I'm gonna end up 
ruining it. It's like um, I don't remember how to put ink on all of a sudden. <laughs> I think it's because I just don't want it real inky, at least not on this. I want it just to barely be able to see where it is. All right, so I could put cardstock behind that and make it stronger pocket, but I think it's going to be fine. I'll just punch a little divot. smaller one I don't know. Okay. Just gonna glue this down. Really didn't think this was gonna take that long, you guys. <laughs> thought I was like, okay, this is what I need. Just kind of the right spot there. Okay. And it doesn't hold it down because it doesn't have like a slit or something. is just not heavy enough. I might be able to do something like lower. Now that lace is probably going to be in the way of that sliding. Oh well, I'm just going to keep burnishing it until it stays shut. Okay, now what? Um, how much time do I have? Okay, a couple minutes. There we go. Alright, I have a journal card here, or backing, that I thought I'd just stick in there. I need to punch up here also, and put an eyelet. I think I'll wait to do that because I want to at least get this done. I'm just going to take this paper here, glue this down to it. I was thinking I could just fold it over. I think I'll try to fold it over. Let's see. Okay, coming back here. see the other side.
used to cutting in this direction on that back side. Okay. And then I'll sew around this as well, and we'll put a tab on the edge. So has anybody started a spring journal or a botanical? That's good, I can't see the other side. Duh. Um. So, it's a little easier to ink on cardstock because it doesn't move. All right, so that's going to go in there. Oh, I keep punching my finger in there. All right. Let me find the center of this one. So it's like three and so one and a half. These eyelets here I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, they're in the leather department, and you get a hundred for um, this one's not very gold. Um, they're silver; they come silver. Anyway, they're a hundred, I think, fifty or hundred in a pack, and they're ninety-nine cents. That's the regular price. Or dollar ninety nine, maybe. No, I think it's ninety nine cents. <clears throat> but they work. The shank is a little bit longer than the ones that I've used before. Um, so the thicker your fat, your, your paper is, the better it punches. All right, so that, and then I think I have some. Um, I was thinking green would look really nice though. I was thinking I had gold too. I sure I do. I like this green. All right. tool but I want to get all my um, seam binding to be crinkly. 
I know I just have to wet it and crinkle it up, let it dry. Like this one is crinkly in the wrong way. <laughs> I'll have to fix it. Yeah, that doesn't even hold that shut. That is so strange. I guess I could put a paper clip over here. Inside of here, you can journal up here, journal here and here, and then on the journaling card, and then you can journal all back in here. So I need to find a tag in here, but I'm going to wait because I think I probably have some already that I can uh, add to this, and um, without having to make one, I might have it already. And I got sorry, so stuck on my hands. Oh. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me, and um, I hope you didn't think I took too long to do this. I, I still will put maybe a label here, maybe a label over here, um, because that's pretty plain. I didn't see any way to use the honeycomb, only because this is too close to the color. Um, I'm thinking I might... Oh, wait a minute. I did Okay, so I don't know. Maybe that would be okay on there. Just to give it a little something. Something. Alright, I think I might do that. Put that on there. And um, see what else I can come up with. Alright, so thank you very much. And um, have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.